feels more and more like our online behavior has arrived at a curious paradox. Everyone seems to be more obsessed with individuality than ever before while simultaneously participating in one of the most intoxicating lifestyle reproduction mechanisms in human history. On TikTok, everybody is an it girl or a sad girl or a girl's girl or a vanilla girl, and they're all buying the same Laneige lip masks and tastefully oversized sweaters. Everyone's smoking cigarettes, but in an old money way, not in a white trash way, God forbid. They proclaim their love for Marvel movies and romance novels to prove that they're different from film bros and literary elitists who clearly were just trying to seem different from them in the first place anyway. They're a stay-at-home girlfriend, but in a feminist way, or maybe in a trad way, but also in a way that's just true and honest and real. But most importantly, and we can't stress this enough, they are not doing it in the same way as everybody else. Everyone is jostling for attention in a crowded room, struggling to differentiate themselves within an algorithm that exists to turn their personhood into a commodity, subverting and subverting again and resubverting and desubverting until they're right back in the mainstream. Half the people talking about the culture are criticizing our generational individuality complex. The others are complaining that everything and everyone feels exactly the same. When I scroll on TikTok, I am reminded of the chip aisle. The chip aisle, like the TikTok for you page, is a testament to redundancy dressed up in the aesthetics of choice. In the chip aisle, but also in almost any store aisle anywhere, capitalism has incentivized the production of infinitely many identical products competing in the same category, each asserting their uniqueness with meaningless window dressing. New look, part of a healthy lifestyle, gluten-free. While capitalism touts itself as the ideology of innovation, in reality it's often much more like the ideology of reproduction. Most corporations aim only to differentiate themselves just enough within a predetermined, consumer-tested niche so that their bullshit product stands out on a shelf next to 500 other different colored bullshit products that exist to do the exact same thing. The maximally rewarded object within a capitalist system is a product distinct enough to be sold, but not so distinct that it veers away from consumer demand. On social media platforms, people are the products, and so we are encouraged to become this kind of object too. The goal more often than not is to present as somebody who buys the right things, wears the right things, eats the right things, and does the right things, all while being completely and totally themselves. In this ecosystem, uniqueness is a kind of commodity. Perhaps this is what it looks like when it too becomes mass-produced.